This is very different than what a welcome back to school classroom would look and feel like any other end of summer. Small stars mark spaces for desks inside this third grade classroom. Furniture is stacked outside in the hallway and the room is pretty bare. We have to take out all the soft things that really can't be disinfected well like pillows, bean bags, all the stuff you usually see in the kindergarten first. The cafeteria now transformed into classroom space that will hold about 40 students if needed. This is what it would look like if we were to use it all as one large classroom, which, you know, probably not the right thing to do with elementary school children, so we could put partitions in here to maybe break it up into two classrooms. School staff have to make sure that not only are desks exactly six feet apart, they also have to make sure all entrances and exits are clearly marked with arrows. To accommodate health screenings, more cleaning and sanitation, and reduced capacity, district leaders say they may need more faculty and staff. Even if we could get every student here, do we have enough teachers here? to have a teacher in every classroom, every classroom space, even if we could get all the students here because the class, class sizes are going to be smaller. The number of students in a classroom are going to be smaller. They're hopeful parents and students will have an opportunity to tour the newly designed classrooms so kids know what to expect on the first day. It's really complicated and it's really different and it's not like anything we've done before. And every building is unique in what it needs and what you need to learn about how to operate in that building.